All right, hey you guys. Here's where I'm at with this painting journey. The past couple of years, I've been working mostly on small-ish watercolors, around, most of them around 11 by 14 size watercolor. I've been really enjoying the process. There's a ton of reels and videos of me doing watercolors. And I've started kind of going back to canvases just to kind of like experiment and play around. I had a painting that I started last year and it just sort of like dive bombed on me. I never finished it. I couldn't figure it out. I didn't like what it was doing. So I wanted to just sort of like explore, try new things. And so what I've been doing with this canvas back here is I'm doing a lot of layering, different colors, shapes, negative space, positive space, that kind of thing, but with a lot of transparency, a lot of transparent colors so that you can kind of see the layers underneath. I'm building up texture on the, like the, from the base layer up by using layers of, you know, just different kinds of paint marks, like dripping, spilling, just thick brush strokes, watery, sort of letting it run, that type of thing. And then kind of seeing what I can paint on top of that in sort of like a, I mean, if you, if you think about layers on a document, so like your top layer might be your font and your middle layer might be some type of graphic, like a square, and then your back layer would be your background, right? So this is kind of what I'm thinking of with the this sort of new approach to acrylic paintings. And I know a lot of people already do this and I'm and I'm there's nothing new about me doing it except for it's new to me. So that's kind of what I've been doing there. And I've been really kind of in the back of my mind I had like a series of paintings that I wanted to do that would have to be like a solo exhibition at some point, but I'm not sure how I want to execute them yet. And they're very um, text based and letters take a long time. And I'm just in this mood where I kind of want, want to do like a lot of like big free movements. This opportunity came up and I, and it's in my reels if you want to look the reels from April, 2022, and it explains everything, but I ended up getting these big, huge canvases. So this one here is 48 by 60 inches, which is four feet by almost five feet. This one here is 48 by 48, which is four feet square. So it's like an Instagram post, it's square. And then these two guys are more of an oblong shape. They are 30 by 48 inches, and these are going to be um, a diptych, which is one piece of art made from two or more substrates. So like three canvases in a row, that's one piece of art would be a triptych. Two pieces of art or two canvases next together uh, two canvases next to each other that create one, you know, cohesive image. That's called a diptych. That's what this is going to be. They're going to be separated, but the image is going to cover both canvases. So this is kind of intimidating for me. I do have a couple of older pieces that were kind of on, on big canvases, but nothing like this. And the other thing about this is that all of my work up to this point has been very bright and colorful, very intense colors. Yeah, I just really love bright, intense color. And I haven't really done a whole lot of monochromatic or neutral work at all, unless it was like a, an assignment in school. And all of these pieces are going to be neutral and or monochromatic, so. That's really exciting to me. It's a big of, bit of a challenge because I didn't even, I had to look up, I have one paint color in my watercolors that's sort of like a neutral, what I would call a neutral color and it's titanium buff. That's the only neutral color that I knew. <laughs> All the colors that I use are, are 
the complete opposite. So I had to sort of get some ideas from my friend about neutral color palettes, what rooms look like with these neutral colors, what the decor, a sense of of the surroundings basically. And so the feeling is a lot of subtle texture and muted neutral tones. So pretty exciting. So anyways, before I attacked these big canvases, I didn't wanna just start on one. I mean, they're kind of expensive. You don't wanna to be too crazy. Maybe you do, I don't know, maybe I should. So I decided to use a couple of small older canvases that I have to practice color palettes on paint, you know, surface application. I'm using different paints than I normally do, so I need to sort of see what they look like and feel like. So here's some of the texture I was playing with. This sort of is like a basket weave pattern. As I'm playing with monochromatic texture, neutral palettes, and giant sized. <laughs> So we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Okay, guys. All right, so I'm just going to pretend like I'm talking to my friend and just telling him what's going on. And my friend is really into painting and they want to know what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, how I'm going to do it. And they're really, really, really interested in the process. Basically, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> 